Greetings my friends, it's Top Hat here, and I'm going to be talking about something that I mentioned quite a while ago and completely forgot to make a video out of it. Actually, I didn't forget to make a video out of it, but anyway, this video is going to be about increasing FPS consistency and gas efficiency in gas blowbacks. Now, the reason it took me so long to make this video is because I wanted to get chrono tests and befores and afters of how many shots are in, you know, you get out of a magazine and things like that. But unfortunately, I just don't have the time for it, and my chronograph can't even read gas blowbacks anyway. I mean, all chrono like 290 with the gun, and then poor man's chrono about 400, so... I'll just tell you guys why this works instead of showing you that it works. I think that'll be a lot more beneficial anyway, but... What we're talking about here is the piston. Or the piston head, anyway. We're talking about the stock cup piston head versus o-ring piston heads. Now, when your gun fires like so, so basically, this part is in your slide. When you, you know, disassemble your slide, you can see it. How gas pistols work is the gas from the magazine goes in here, some of the gas escapes into the barrel, and then there's the floating valve, and as the gas is charged into the air nozzle here, part of the gas goes out into the barrel, and then, due to the pressure of the gas, this floating nozzle, actually, this is a custom 3D printed floating nozzle I've designed that gets me more FPS. The stock one looks pretty different, but the nozzle is pushed forward by the gas and closes, and when the gas, sorry, when the, when the cylinder valve blocks off the air nozzle, the gas starts building up inside the air nozzle here, and that causes the air nozzle to shoot forward due to the gas pressure building up. And when the air nozzle does shoot forward, it goes forward a distance, and the force of the air nozzle thrusting forward pushes the slide back and that's what causes your gun to blow back. So that's a rough, rather simple explanation of how gas blowbacks work. So what we're talking about right now is this piston head. And the reason O-ring piston heads are important is because they get a better air seal. Because if you think about it, when the gas is you know pumped into the air nozzle here, some of the gas is likely to escape around the air nozzle here, sorry, the piston head, and kind of escape, you know, while it's filling up. So, uh, I'll demonstrate here first. Now, if you take the piston head with the O-ring, this is going to be the 9-ball Dyna piston head I've got installed here, and you plug up, sorry, plug up both the holes that gas can escape from and you blow into it, you can hear that no gas is escaping. However, if I install the stock piston head that has this cup-shaped rubber gasket, I'll go ahead and install this, show you. I've got them both disassembled, I'll go ahead and compare them here. On the right here is the 9-ball Dyna piston head, which is an O-ring type piston head, which gets a very good air seal with the air nozzle or cylinder, whichever you'd prefer to call it. And this is the stock one on the left, which has the cup-style rubber design, which does not get as good of a seal. Now, if I put this air nozzle, sorry, the cylinder here back on, it slides a lot easier. And if I plug the holes, you'll hear that there is a lot of potential for gas to escape. Now, the reason the gas escaping is bad is because leaks are inconsistent. Not the same amount of gas is going to leak out every shot. And if some of the gas does leak out, then that's going to lower the pressure in your cylinder. And the lower the pressure that forms in your cylinder, the less your FPS is. So as gas leaks out around the air nozzle, less pressure builds up in here, which leads to... Or less pressure builds up, and it, the pressure that does the amount of pressure that does build up varies from shot to shot. The greater the leak, so shot to shot FPS consistency is reduced with a leak. Whereas when you use these uh, air, sorry, the nine ball Dyna piston head here, since there's a very firm air seal and there's little to no leakage, that makes it a lot more consistent. So a lot closer to the same amount of pressure is built up in the air nozzle or cylinder for every shot, which leads to far more consistent FPS. Now, as you could also imagine, this also causes greater 
gas efficiency because if gas is leaking out, it's going to take more gas to build up enough pressure to cause the blowback to happen. So if you switch to the o-ring piston head, you're going to get a couple more shots out of your magazine because there's no leakage, you know, gas is just being used a lot more efficiently. Also just to clarify, I might have mentioned that more pressure will build up in the cylinder when using the o-ring piston head, but I didn't actually notice an FPS increase when I installed the o-ring piston head, but I did notice an accuracy increase, which I attribute to increased FPS consistency, and I do get a few more shots out of the magazine. However, as I mentioned, I don't really have a good way of chronoing my gas blowback since my chrono doesn't work, so it may or may not have increased the FPS, but I don't think it increased it by a whole lot, but I'm just, I'm not sure about how it affected the actual FPS, but I do know it increased my accuracy. And one thing I'm sure I should mention before it freaks someone out is when you do have an o-ring piston head, do note that it's likely that your cylinder return spring will not be strong enough to pull your air nozzle back, that's actually perfectly normal. There's really no need for a cylinder return spring in most gas pistols. In fact, in my P226, I just removed the cylinder return spring, it's pointless. The blowback of your gun in pushing the air nozzle forward into the hop-up chamber is more than enough force to move it backwards. It's not, it doesn't really serve a point in most guns, and some guns like the KJW KCO2 here. It is important because the cylinder spring it provides the guide for the air nozzle. The main way you can tell if your gun needs it or not is if the gun's fully assembled without the cylinder spring, can you just pull the air nozzle right out? In my KCO2, I can. However, in my 226, which has these guides on the side, when I fully assemble it, you cannot get the air nozzle out of here if you leave the cylinder return spring out. So keep in mind that when you use o-ring piston heads your air nozzle might not reset itself when you pull it back. That's perfectly fine. That's a good thing. That means you're getting a tight seal and the operation of the gun should be more than sufficient enough to move the air nozzle back so you don't have to worry about anything. So that is why o-ring piston heads are beneficial for gas blowbacks. This was just a little tech rant here. Hope you guys appreciated it and you learned something. Take care.